We have trainer Johan Jansen Fafiro just to chat about his runners on Classic Day on Saturday at Turfentine Race Course. Johan, you start in race one. It's a maiden plate for the fillies and mares over the 1600 meters. You've got Happy Mo. Um, second run after a rest, how's she doing back at home? Vic's good. Um, she needed the last run very badly. We rushed a bit into that race mainly to get her ready for tomorrow. Um, so yeah, fit and well. Um, expecting a good run. She's a nice filly. Um, Jumps out the gates a bit slow, but luckily we've got a small fuel, so it's not the end of the world. Um, yeah, she's a smart filly, eh? She had a couple of breathing issues and she had a small operation not too long ago, so second and after rest. She's going to win a couple of races this filly in the future. Um, I'll definitely keep an eye on her. Obviously, there's one or two young, younger fillies that's only had one or two runs. Um, yeah, but listen, my filly's going to run close. Then in race two, it's the Stormbird Stakes over the 1,000 metres. You've got uh, Chestnut Bomber, a first-timer by Lancaster Bomber. Vicks, um, obviously not easy for two yards to come out and win races like these against horses that's competed already and already won, but um, irrelevant, this is a very smart horse, just, um, so excuse me, thrills. It's going to be, it's going to be a smart horse, watch him for the future. Then in race three, it's the Ruffian Stakes, uh, over the 1,000 metres, you've got Simply Majestic. She ran a nice race against the boys last time, now back uh, with the fillies. Ach, oh, Vixia, yeah, I think with the two year it doesn't really matter. You get the sex allowance, so whether it's Colts or Phillies, and they run more or less the same times if you compare the times, very little between them. Um, she's fit and well. We had a really, really exceptionally well last time. Um, she's still doing good. Um, obviously, the favourite, very, very tough to beat. Um, a couple of unknowns from KZN, so we'll see how the form works out from there. But yeah, my Phillies fit and well. We're expecting another top three finish from her. Um, if everything goes well. Um, nothing unforeseen happens. She'll definitely be. She'll definitely um, give us a good run. Then in race four, it's a maiden plate over the eleven sixty. You've got so seductive. Uh, nice run back after a rest. Yeah, good run after a rest. Um, low draw. Um, I don't think it's a bunch of wall beaters in here. So um, listen, she comes out the gates really well. We're going to hope we get over from the draw. Um, also, she's jumping out of a skin. This filly, she. Came out of it last run, ran exceptionally well. Um, not a type horse, I'm going to say from the draw that she can't lose, but um, I think she's going to run very, very close. Then in race seven, it's the, uh, the Tab SA Classic over the 1800 metres. You got Barbaresco. He won a very impressive race last time, an unfortunate draw of 11. Yeah, I would have paid money to swap so seductive and Barbaresco's draws, but anyway, it is what it is. Um, Vix has also had a good prep. Um, I don't know if he's quite ready for the 1800 yet in this class. He's a nice horse, he's a very smart horse and that's why we are running him here. Um, I would have I would have preferred this race in about six or eight weeks time from now, but it is what it is. Irrelevant what happens. Um, they also had a fantastic prep first of all, so I'm not trying to be negative. Um, he's had a great prep and he's a very, very good horse. I just think he's still maturing a little bit. and. Um, you're going to see a really smart horse um, or the very best of him only in about two or three months, even six months time from now. So yeah, great prep. Um, he's working out of his skin, this horse, but he's still not the horse he's going to be in a couple of months from now. Then in race eight, it's the horse Chestnut Stakes over the mile. You've got Porto Manzano. Finished a nice fourth uh, last time in a distance way too short. Yeah, listen, a couple of Neagles has popped up again. Funny enough, same time last year for the same race. Um, I've said it in the past, he's an old horse now and he's, he's struggling, he's always had his little Neagles. Um, so it hasn't been fluent the last three weeks. We've done a lot of work with him, vets and physios, and um, we've done the best we can. He was really fresh this morning at track, um, feeling really good within himself. I will just um, watch him go down. It's obviously a very, very tough race. Like, this is a fantastic field. So nice to see these horses coming up from Cape Town. And having a field like this at Highfield, it's really like, I love racing like this, super competitive. Um, listen, like Gavin mentioned to me, week is a top horse that runs on his heart, you know. So even if he, if he's feeling a little niggle here or there, he's going to run through it because he's just such an honest horse. Draw one is going to help us a lot. Um, yeah, Vix, like I said, watch him go down and then assess it from there. But um, if he puts his best foot forward, um, like he is really, really, really fresh within himself and um, if he moves okay he's going to run a big race. Thank you so much for your time. Pleasure. And thank you so much for watching and tuning in to Track Talk.